the great Shankar Mahadevan on you know live with us today. The living legend Shankar Mahadevan. Yesterday, Ganesh Rajagopalan, another of his peers who won the Grammy along with him for the moment, which has finally arrived for India. The Indian music lovers, nation, the global guru, as we are calling India nowadays, under the auspicious kind of you know leadership of Prime Minister Modi, Mr. Shankar Mahadevan, along with his peers, John McLaughlin, Usta Zakir Hussain, somebody who is uh, somebody who's pioneered the band called Shakti over the last 45 years. Shankar, I'm, I'm not a music expert, so please correct me wherever I'm wrong. Uh, Ustar Zakir Hussain, uh, Lord uh, Paul McLaughlin, and then Mr. Uh, Ganesh Rajagopalan, the violinist, and the percuss percussionist is Mr. Silva Ganesh. You know, these guys have made history by winning the Global Album Award at the Grammy, 66th Grammy Awards. Shankar Mahadevan is no stranger you know, to us Indians. Shankar Bhatt, 2000, the first national award, 2019 Padma Shri. Why this big gap? Because I was not giving myself the award. Somebody was giving me the award. I mean, I think uh, things happen when it's supposed to happen. So, and for me, that is not the benchmark of, you know, uh, how many accolades I get or how many awards I get. It is about doing good work, continuing doing good work and uh, just focus on uh, quality work and then the rest is just you know I think they are all uh, embellishments as I feel. You see uh, basically facilitation or probably recognitions in terms of awards and accolades which are bestowed upon especially the highest civilian awards in the country India wherein the Padmas are considered to be the highest civilian awards apart from Ashok Chakra which is the peace time gallantry award in the highest order if I may request and tell uh, request and ask you, uh, did you never think of applying, or is it that the government was not really very, very thoughtful of you know uh, kind of recognizing somebody like you who already had something like breathless and it it kept us breathless for a long time. You know you had national awards behind you, so did you not even apply before 2019, or was it that the government didn't find it it apt for you to be recognized that that way? You know. I, I have not even given a thought to that, uh, I mean, because I don't think that is important, honestly. If, if you get recognition, good, accept it, enjoy that moment, and it is like charging a battery. It just gives you a kind of morale boost that, you know, okay, you have achieved something and you have been appreciated for that. But you don't work in, in, in everyday life to get recognition only, you know, you work because you enjoy the art form. You work because you want to create new things. You you want to uh, you want people to enjoy your music. So you know whenever I've got whatever I've got, I think I bought at the correct time. And uh, before that, whether it was right, after that, whether it was wrong, all those things. These are areas of thought that I don't even get into, and I'm not interested. I I just enjoy my work. I enjoy people's love, affection. Uh, their their kind of uh, uh, you know the the love that they pour out on the melodies like for example when I'm in the airport if the person who's pushing that trolley he comes and tells me sir आपका माँ वाला गाना सुनके मुझे मेरी माँ याद आ गई and मुझे मेरे आँखों में आँसू आ गए when if he says that that is the biggest award so all these things that you're talking about does not you know it doesn't matter in my life but do these cows matter which I see in the background this is a Pichuai painting. This is a? Pichuai, Pichuai. It's a kind of artwork, yeah. yeah it's a Pichuai so, I mean, painting. You know, why? I just thought whether probably you are having that so-called right-wing ideology. You know, I, I'm going to be coming to that Grammy and the music part very soon. You know, because you've got 20 minutes with you. You seem, so you seem to you, be very far away from that. Yeah, because you see, we see, we saw you in the inauguration on 22nd of January, along with Anwar Potwal, you know, and uh, you were one of those guys, uh, one of those great singers who the uh, who the country uh, could watch singing live uh, when the Ram Lala Pran Pratishta in a ceremony was being held. So, how was the feeling like when you were told to come and sing and and address the world on behalf of Ram Lala? Well, uh, you know, any any musician, any art artist would love to be there and experience one of the biggest events 
and biggest occasions in Indian history over the last 500 years. And I was really blessed uh, by the Almighty to be there and experience the divine, uh, you know, uh, feeling that everybody were experiencing. People uh, had a sense of, uh, you know, happiness, joy, tears in their eyes. And it is like, you know, a power had descended over our motherland. So it was a truly blessing. Yesterday, Ganesh Rajagopalan told me that generally, you know, uh, uh, the singers uh, uh, may not be playing instruments, but every instrumentalist can sing to some extent. You know, do you also feel that you have something like an instrument which has helped you become a better singer in life? Well, um, I had started and I still play a lot of instruments, actually. Uh, my first recording that I've ever done was a Veena recording when I was 11 years old for Pandit Bhinsen Joshi and Lata Mangeshkar. So it started with an instrument for an album called Ram Sham Guruga. And then, of course, it uh, also slowly graduated into vocal singing. But though I still play instruments, I play percussion instruments, I play harmonium, I play veena, I play, you know, multiple instruments, even in my recordings. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I do, I do, because... It, it helps you analyze music much better, playing an instrument. See, unlike the other musicians and classical artists that we interacted with over the last four or five years, especially under the Amrit Kal series, you know, which, is, which includes Pandit Haripasa Chaurasya Ji and all the Prabha Atre Ji and so many people, you know, I find your profile to be quite different because you also had an excellent academic record. You were a computer science engineer from Navi Mumbai College. And uh, I mean, how did you man? And then yeah, I don't, I'm not very sure whether you had that uh, Papa kind of influence, that great guru, father guru influence. So what, how did you manage to, you know, become some Shankar Mahadev? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, firstly, I don't, I did not have any kind of godfather in the industry or anything. Secondly, uh, yes, I, I, I'm a, from a very middle class, basic South Indian background and I was doing like any other kid would be, whether you want to become an engineer or a doctor, because those days you did not have many options. Uh, uh, whether, you know, like today, I mean, people have a hundred uh, choices for careers. So, you know, I, I was just follow, following uh, everybody's trend. as, And I became an engineer. I was also working, but I had to do a little bit of introspection and see uh, what is it that I want to do in life? And what is it that will give me extreme joy? And what is it that I want to just focus without being complicated, you know. So I think music was the answer, and that's how it is. So I just, I just got into music, full fledged. And for me, it's not only about Bollywood music, as you must be seeing if you have read my career graph. It is about also uh, film music. It's about classical music. It is about Marathi music. It's about uh, bhajans. It is about spiritual music. It's about fusion music. It's about composing, singing, performing, creating, curating. These are things. And plus now also my academy where I'm teaching music in 90 countries. So that's my uh, kind of uh, spectrum of work. And I really enjoy doing that. So I don't know how I became Shankar Mahadevan. I was born Shankar Mahadevan. And uh, uh, I think it is, it is just, uh, I've been doing things very naturally in my own pace in my own style and uh, it reached out to people whenever the time came as you said some care some things came late some things came early but i never bothered you yeah, you look you seem to be an, an and whatever i i am learning about you more and more i am hearing you i am listening to you i am mesmerized and the world will be mesmerized to see the kind of vast uh, you know magnanimous talent and the kind of you're encompassing the entire broad spectrum of music because you know you've been playing instruments you've been singing all kinds of uh, genre and then you are winning grammy awards you're winning national awards you're winning padma shri i mean uh, ganesh raj gopal and yesterday again educated me i've also had interactions with rakesh chaurasia ji also with uh, selva ganesh ji uh, because after the Grammy uh, kind of thing, uh, all these guys were gentle enough and kind enough to be on board, including yourself. Now, uh, yesterday he was telling me that Shiva played the drum 
that started the you know kind of syllables. That is how the syllables came into being, and then uh, Saraswati is associated with Veena, and so on and so forth. But uh, you know the Naradas and the Miras are the singers who basically follow uh, uh, the Shivas and the Saraswatis. So uh, what he meant to say was that instruments obviously are more important than the vocal aspects. But then I told him Shankar Mahadevan is somebody whose name has got Shankar and Mahadev, and he's also somebody who is an expert in singing. So he covers all the aspects. How many years? How many years have you been associated with Shakti the band uh, of Ustaz Zakir Hussain sir? I've been associated for 25 years now. The band is 50 years old. I joined into the band when I was, when the band was, uh, you know, relaunching and re. Uh, kind of interpreting the music and coming into the musical space. I joined 25 years back and I've been like, I, I was fortunate enough to celebrate the 50th anniversary tour this year. I mean, as in last year. Yeah. I mean, breathless, uh, I'll again be digressing a little bit. Uh, breathless, one minute, you know, I don't know. I don't really remember. Uh, it was something like you kept singing because I remember 20 years back, even we were followers. Uh, I mean, did you, uh, you know, engage in some kind of uh, supernatural breathing exercises? <laughs> no. I mean, if you really think that I've sung for three minutes holding my breath, that, that is that is absolutely funny. Obviously not. I would be dead if I would be singing for three minutes. It's a concept song. It is a concept song and uh, it is it's, it's supposed to make you feel breathless which I succeeded in. And uh, of course, I do sing it in all my concerts. There's not a single concert that goes by without me singing Breathless. Uh, it's it's part of my repertoire. But I think that was a song that gave my face the voice and the voice the face. So it is a, it's, it's a landmark song in my career. And obviously, I have not sung it in my own breath. I mean, uh, without any such kind of a formal uh, lineage that you come with or a family lineage that you come with from a musical perspective. Uh, I mean, this is something which is very surprising for all of us. How could you manage to, you know, because all of these guys that we've been talking to, they have all had some kind of a family influence and very much pressing from their own, uh, from the closest quarters. So how did you really, who are the major influencers? I mean, from your training perspective, your gurus, and because without them, I would not like to have this interview uh, concluded. You need to tell us a little bit about your gurus because without them, you would have been nobody. I agree on that. And without, if anybody feels that, you know, I'm the one who's doing everything and nobody's helped me. I mean, that is a very, very wrong thought. I owe everything to my gurus. Uh, and guru, I've learned from Srimati T.R. Balamani. I've learned vocals. I have learned Veena from Aritha Venkatraman. And I have learned a lot from so many people like Srinivas Khariji is there, uh, Tara Devi is there, uh, Ustad Gulamadi Khansab is there, from whom I have I listened to his cassettes and CDs and I've learned a lot. And all the, in, in today's day, uh, I mean, few, till few years back, <clears throat> your CD player was your guru. And now, whatever, I mean, all the, all the streaming platforms and all the musical platforms is your guru. Still, I'm a student. I still am learning. Every day, I listen to something and I, and I, and I learn. I, I try to imbibe that in my musical vocabulary. The day you stop being a student, the day you stop being humble, the day you stop uh, learning, that's the beginning of your end. How, how much importance does your training uh, have in your playback background because you are a fantastic playback singer. I think it's got uh, an influence on every single note that I render. is because of the training that I've got from my gurus and not only it is the training, it is the blessing from your gurus. It is the vibration from your gurus. It is, you need to be blessed by your gurus to reach where you are. You asked no, how I did, how I have become Shankar Mahadevan. I have become Shankar Mahadevan because of the blessings of the gurus. And, uh, you know, today's uh, generation, the contemporary generation of singers, I mean, uh, how do you rate uh, the quality? I do not want a diplomatic concession. No, I think they are fabulous. They are fantastic. A singer like Arijit Singh, uh, you know, he is outstanding. He's got a very bright future. He's here. 
to stay for a very very long time he understands music and the depths of music so i really regard him as a fabulous singer and there are so many other singers also who are very 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 good in their art their craft and the way they render things have i made that very clear it is absolutely fabulous and if you're talking about mediocrity mediocrity always existed it exists along with good music even if they are 50 years 75 years 100 years back too mediocrity existed probably it didn't reach out to you because that many avenues were not there now you have got the avenue to listen to good music bad music terrible music excellent music all come out in the same media okay it, it just comes out in front of you you need to choose from that so that is how the situation is so i Everyone think everyone needs a about talent phenomenal talent is there now everyone needs a break so who gave you your uh, you know initial breaks in the uh, music industry it all happened the organically amit you can't just justify that this person gave a break or that person it happened it's a snowball effect it starts from a small jingle one small jingle into one ala and then maybe a four bar sargam in some other a film song slowly then to a, a chance to sing one paragraph then slowly that song becomes a popular song then you you know you are able to reach out to more people then your voice gets recognized and your name gets recognized it's a long process you know we have we have come up a graph which doesn't go this way vertically up it's a gradual climb you know so that is only possible if you are a shankar madhav because i don't really no, know no, many no. people I, do, i think i think there are zillions of other artists who are extremely talented who are more talented than me who are musically greater than me whatever i have learned so and i don't want to compare myself with anybody i'm just enjoying my space and i like to be where i am yeah how important is this how important is this global recognition shankar five more minutes well uh, anybody likes recognition anybody likes people see what is music until people until people don't hear you the whole purpose of a perform person becoming a performer or recording some some song is so that somebody hears you isn't it you can't just keep a song in your in your bedroom wall and just sing inside your bedroom so i think the more your song gets featured but a platform like grammy is is about taking our indian culture taking our indian music taking our indian classical elements and giving give, giving it to the west and uh giving them an opportunity to taste our music on a very big platform like the grammys so that is the purpose of you know uh, global recognition i think uh, very soon you know uh, we would be pressing for uh, they just like the international yoga day was announced on 21st of june uh, because france started celebrating the music day on 21st of june we are also uh, you know quite intent on having india's national music day you know also along with that things like uh, recognition by the united nations as a soft power india soft power like yoga like ayurveda is performing arts and soon probably we could be having in, uh, intangible cultural heritage tag being given to the performing arts section of india's music now your partnership with shankar ehsan loy something which gave us dil chahta hai unforgettable melodies you know i mean 20 years back 22 years back this kind of music even till date it is timeless it is timeless why don't we get such music quite often of course you get good music now which is going to stay for a long time if you if you see songs like you know kesariya it's a beautiful melody it's just come out like two years back and there are so many beautiful let's not talk about uh, uh, songs that are not good talk about songs that are good and there are songs there are beautiful songs that are there uh, that that is going to stay like for example if you see kal hona ho kal hona ho is going to stay for another 50 years you know the song ma from tari sami par is going to stay for another 100 years i can guarantee you that you know a, a, a beautiful uh, anthem for for india like you know evatan is going to stay for another 50 years i can guarantee you that so there is good music also there is good music so let's just focus on that now uh, final finally ashanka uh, one thing is about fusion uh, how relevance uh, uh, what is the relevance of fusion music you know because we are trying to drive india towards our old roots uh, roots which are you know much more you know different from the fusion aspects of music that we keep talking about nowadays so are you somebody who would propose fusion or would should we stick to more of shastriya sangeet grammatical sangeet i i, I wouldn't uh, definitely uh, say that you know any person 
any musician would like to go beyond barriers. You are talking about fusion music as if fusion music just came about five years back. Fusion music has existed in our musical industry for over hundred years. You know, right from the day one. You know, even even in film music, if you see even like people like Sardar Malik, or even if you see like Hemant Kumar, you know, he's got Western choir happening. He's got a he's got a trumpet happening. He's got a violin happening. What is that? That used to be fusion. That's an operatic choir. That is fusion. You know, so you can say fusion has always existed in Indian music. So it's nothing new. You know, it's just the word fusion has become a, a fashionable thing to say. And, you know, sometimes you criticize, oh, what is this fusion music? But the whole idea of music is to go beyond barriers, get together and create music. So, you know, that is there. And so I am the last person to say that an artist should only stick to Shastri Sangeet and all that. Because I think by doing that, you're only confining yourself and not broadening your spectrums. Hindustani and Carnatic music combination is a rarity. You know, you have mastered that art to some extent as far as I understand. I mean, how do you think the new generation, because they are these, these are two different worlds and the North-South divide is something like which is completely uh, uh, imp, uh, un, uh, kind of it is it seems to be permanent or uh, you know, absolutely non-transparent. It cannot be uh, percolated to some extent, you know, because the the no, more no, no, time no, all passes. All that is wrong. I mean, I mean, I mean, both the music is it is it, you know the primary aspects of both the music is absolutely the same. It is the way you render it is different. That's all. You know, the styles are different, and the way you utilize your musical notes to. Uh, give the output of whether it's Karnataka, whether it's Hindustani, but it all originates from here, you know, so it's there. And of course, the traditions are there. Each here, there's Tyagaraja, and here there is Khayal, and Chota Khayal, Bada Khayal, over there, there is uh, Varnam, uh, you know, Tyagaraja Kriti, and Dikshadar Kriti. So, these are all compositionally all different from each other, but I think the origin of music is the seven notes, Sa, Re, Gama, Pada, Nisa, and that's where it ends. Finally, uh, some uh, words of inspiration and guidance for the new generation and the nation because you lay a lot of emphasis on family values. You say all the songs and all your creations are uh, devoted to your wife, who you love very much, like a lot of people do. I mean, now, uh, what is your uh, you know, suggestion for the new generation and how important are family I values? I think we have got, we have got a, a new generation who are, who, has the, who are the most intelligent lot uh, in humankind till today okay if we feel that we were we were more intelligent in our youth than the current youth over here we are sadly mistaken the youth of today is the most intelligent and luckily we are in a country where we have maximum number of youth okay so i think uh, for me it, it it would be like a more friendly advice based on the experience that i have i don't want to say that oh you are wrong and i am right uh, they are very intelligent enough to understand but i would just say uh, musically speaking i would just say that Please listen to, uh, keep listening to good music, make that your vocabulary and just get used to listening to good music and let that become your benchmark so that you can take that and also grow as a musician. That's all I'll say. Okay. Thank you and congratulations, thank you. Shankar. Thank Grammy, you, thank you. And, you know, we will very soon be talking to you as a Padma Bhushan, I'm sure. Thank you. Oh, God bless. Thank you.